Good evening, everyone. Time for another Bitcoin report. This is the 15 minute chart of Bitcoin provided by ClarkMoody.com. I'm going to use the Bitcoin Wisdom site to get into the market analysis, but I want to show you the market depth here. We've got a total of about 35,000 Bitcoins at all prices offered, and we've got above the $50 price about 100,000. Now that's significant overhead selling pressure, but I'm going to talk about the volume a little bit when we look at Bitcoin Wisdom. If you look at, let's pick the price of about 500, we've got roughly 20,000 worth of Bitcoins, dollars bidding on Bitcoins there. And if we look for the equivalent here in the offer, we've got a price of 1200. So we've got about as many people who want to unload Bitcoin around 1200 and below than who want to buy from 500 and up. So that's a decent amount of bidding. But let's go over to Bitcoin Wisdom. Now you can see that if you remember last night, I posted a note when someone asked me if I thought it was going to go below 900. I said, it would probably test 600. You can see that it did actually touch down to 576. We appear to still be rolling over here. There's a significant support around 680. I think that if we get through there, then we're going to see a decent amount of selling and probably a test of this low. Now, I mentioned the volume, and I think that's really important because as we go back here if you just put your cursor over the line you can see it tells you the amount of volume in that time frame so over this red line we're talking about 5000 bitcoin volume in that 15 minute time frame now as we go out of course these lines are going to grow taller that's a larger time period so more volume so you can see this green spike here we're talking about 10000 or so bitcoin volume and as we continue to move out this big red spike here comes in at a hundred I'm sorry that comes in at 15,000 volume so we'll keep going out because I want to show you something about the volume in this recent move this one comes in at 25,000 and we'll keep moving out So these are the big sell-off spikes here. You can see 45,000 was what we got during the first sell-off. And then the second sell-off, the big spike, we got about 30,000 or so volume. Now when we continue to move out, I want you to notice that the volume that we have here is not very significant. Now if you look back at this volume spike, back when we were around a price of about 150 or so we had 100,000 volume and if we keep moving out now we're out on the three day and you can see that this volume here that came in at this last top that we had that took us a significant period of time from about April to November to have the market digest that selling that came in and we'll move out one more to show you how dramatic that is so this red spike here is a volume of two million two hundred and fifteen thousand Bitcoin volume now that's a lot of volume that is at that time roughly 20% of the entire number of Bitcoins in existence turning over in that time frame. And what is so significant here, I want you to notice, is how tiny the volume is here. If we go to this red sell-off candlestick, that comes in at 200,000 Bitcoins. So the sell-off volume in the current sell-off is one-tenth, 10% of what it was when we had this top. Now what does that say? I can't say for sure. 
I think it tells you that there aren't nearly as many bitcoins offered as there were. If you look at these out here, when the price was around six, is what it's saying, we had nearly a million in volume whereas today we only have a fraction of that what does that mean I think it's bullish I think that what it means is not a lot of people are parting with their bitcoins I think a lot of people are hanging on to them that's certainly what I'm doing I don't think a lot of people are confused by a lot of the FUD that's out there now let's look at some more FUD this is King World News Now, King World News is primarily a gold and silver site but if you notice here Eric King is interviewing Bill Fleckenstein or Fleckenstein and he asks him Bill do you have any thoughts on Bitcoin and he says yeah it's a giant chain letter everyone will lose all of their money that puts it in it it's a complete joke even a crappy currency has government taxing ability behind it or some sort of standing army or something like that Bitcoin is nothing it's a dot-com mania 3.0 just moved up one step over and so that's a new charge I haven't heard that one before about Bitcoin being a chain letter so let's look at chain letters here try to see if Bitcoin is a chain letter a chain letter consists of a message that attempts to convince the recipient to make a number of copies of the letter and then pass them on to as many recipients as possible Common methods used in chain letters include emotionally manipulative stories, get rich quickly pyramid schemes, and the exploitation of superstition. Now, chain letters are actually against the law. In the United States, chain letters that request money or other items of value and promise a substantial return to the participants, such as the infamous make money fast scheme, are illegal. Other types of chain letters are viewed as a general nuisance. And that law is down here. A chain letter may qualify as fraudulent activity as in the case of a pyramid scheme which asks recipients to funnel money up the chain while requesting the letter be distributed to multiple new recipients. The legality of chain letters comes into question when they attempt to funnel monetary value to a single source. So that's going to be the key to a chain letter. It's an attempt to funnel money up the pyramid. Obviously the person who starts it is going to get the most and the early adopters are going to get the second most. That's the only thing I can find in common but of course with Bitcoin but of course that's in common with every company that's ever existed and every investment that's ever existed early adopters make money so Bitcoin isn't a chain letter there's no central source there's no money being funneled it's a cryptocurrency and its value increases on the market as people value it and buy it so another worthless criticism and I think a lot of these criticisms come from people who just haven't studied things a lot of these people just hear other people that they respect and they say something and so they listen to them so let's get over to the market cap here now if you remember when I covered it at its high we had about 12 and a half billion on Bitcoin and Litecoin was up to nearly a billion you can see now that the market cap of all the coins is below nine billion dollars for all cryptocurrencies added together we can see that quark coin has significantly dropped down the rankings and I do believe it's going to fall further some have said it's a pump and dump scheme some have said that it's pre-mined others have countered that now many will admit even its defenders will admit that it is pre-mined in the sense that most of the coins are already mined it's not like Bitcoin when Bitcoin was being adopted and, and still to this day just a little over 50 percent of the coins ever to be mined have been mined whereas I believe correct me if I'm wrong the number for quark coin is something like 95 plus percent have already been mined so 
I expect that market cap to decrease. You can see it's down to 20 million. That's still very high. It puts it in sixth place. But if you remember when I covered it first, it was actually above Namecoin and was going to overtake Peercoin. So it's lost a lot of value. Now, there's a lot of these other coins here that have fallen as well. It's a phenomenon that you see fairly frequently when Bitcoin sells off. A lot of these sell off in terms of Bitcoin. And of course, if you're holding them, that's going to be a double loss because your Bitcoin Bitcoins that you own are going down in value as well as these current these alt cryptos are going down in value against the Bitcoin. So it's a double whammy for people who are sitting in these coins. I'm beginning to accumulate a number of the thinly traded ones because I think at some point this is going to turn around. Now let's look at some of the news that came out. We know what happened in China. Baidu suspended payments for Bitcoin and we've got the chart here This points out when Baidu began accepting Bitcoin and the halting of it, and you can see that coincides with the sell off. Another very interesting chart here covered on Zero Hedge is this algo looking activity. I noted this last night when it started. You had these strange patterns of four sets of selling candlesticks and then one big buying candlestick. You can also see the anomalous volume patterns there. So that starts to look like algos. Now, how is that possible? I don't know. I, I'm not aware of whether or not there are APIs that link into Mt. Gox. Obviously, this is Mt. Gox. So that's just unusual activity on that one exchange. But I don't know whether or not there are algos that can interface with Mt. Gox. And if that's the case, there can be some kind of computer trading. In other words, computers are talking directly to Gox and controlling the buy and sell on that exchange. So if you know the answer to that, let me know. Now I wanted to do a little bit of analysis over on BTCE and I wanted to talk a little bit about the market depth for some of these. Now you can see here we'll start off with Bitcoin in US dollars and if you go down underneath the buy and sell sections you can see how many dollars are bid and how many Bitcoins are offered. So one of the analysis the one of the types of analysis that we want to do here is how even are these two positions. So what you have to do is bring out the calculator and take the amount of dollars you can see here there's nine million dollars sitting here as bids and again this is the Bitcoin US dollar cross so there's nine million dollars sitting here as bids we punch that in the calculator divide by the price of Bitcoin which is 673 currently on this exchange and we come up with 13,461 bitcoins. You can see that there's about 11,306 so this one tilts toward the buyers there's more dollars chasing bitcoin than there are bitcoin bitcoins chasing dollars. So let's go over and do the same analysis on Litecoin versus the US dollar. You can see dollars bidding for litecoins on this exchange is about 7,530,000 when we calculate that out and divide that by the price of litecoin at 22.5 we come up with about 334,000 litecoins interest and there's about 293,000 being offered. So again, a bullish leaning for Litecoin as well. The next one is Namecoin. And again, I'm only doing the ones that have a US dollar cross. 
I can do the same analysis with Bitcoin, but I'm just looking at US dollars at this point. So you can see a total of $1,311,000 are on the exchange bidding for Namecoin. And if we divide that by the price of Namecoin, which we're just going to call 5, then that's 262,000 Namecoin buying pressure, whereas there's 383,000 name coins on the exchange. So that is bearish for the price of name coin just on that one type of analysis. And the last one here is uh, PPC, and you can see there's only $214,000 being bid for this coin, and that's at a price of about three dollars we'll say and that is buying pressure of about 71,000 PPC but you can see over here there's 221,000 so that's a big imbalance and I'm gonna have to say that that's very bearish on this exchange for PPC now that's a fairly new cross. It was just listed last week, so that might be the reason why there aren't that many dollars bidding for it, but that's definitely a bearish indicator. So back to the chart. We're getting a little rally here, and where is the bottom going to be? Well, if we look out on the long term, if Bitcoin follows historically what it has done in the past it has had up to 90 percent corrections a 90 percent correction actually a correction down to here at the old high of 242 that's going to be roughly an 80 percent correction and uh, that may be where we're going before we get there we have to get through this at about 400 400 is going to be about a 67% correction. We'll just call it 70. So this could be a 70% 70, 70 correction. And actually, that correction could happen tonight. That's how volatile Bitcoin is. And uh, we could actually bounce off of 400, begin to rally, and then that would be it. The question, of course, is going to be, will we have this type of extended period of time where the market consolidates and I'm gonna say at this point no I don't believe that we're going to have that yet simply because we did not see anywhere anywhere near the distribution that we saw at this last top we've got about one-tenth of the selling volume that's created this and if I'm going to make a guess, my best guess is that we may probably bounce off this 400 point on decent volume and then take off and go and test the old highs. And we'll talk to you next time.